All right guys, so this part right here is probably the most technical of everything that we're gonna go through throughout this entire course, okay? And that is setting up your custom domain name, all right? Um, by default, once you make a Shopify page, let's just say you have the best tees in the world. Okay, your URL is gonna be the best tees in the world dot myshopify dot com. Now, um, that was some people, you know, say is not professional or whatever. I mean, it works, but there's nothing like having your own custom domain name, meaning www.thebestteasintheworld.com, period. Like, that's it. So I show you how you can set up and port over your very own custom domain name, okay? And the video starts right now. All right, now we are going to get into your domain name. Now, by default, like we have this testing, testing, one, two store. Um, when you make a Shopify store, they give you their default URL, which is whatever your name is, dot myshopify.com, okay? Which is okay, and there are some people who do that and use it, but if you really want to be quote unquote professional, I hate to use that term because it's so misused and misunderstood, but to look like you are, you know, about that life, as they say, to look like you are not a novice, you want to have your own domain name. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so you want to go click on online store. You want to go to domains. Now, buy a domain name. If you get Shopify and you don't have a domain name, the great thing is that they actually offer a service. So you can click right here and you can do a search to see if your domain name is available. And it costs you 14 bucks a year, which is on par with a lot of, of the other places. And the great thing is that they give you who is protection uh, included in the price. And a lot of other places don't do that. What that means is uh, when you open a, when you get a domain name, your information, your address, phone number, email address, they're all public record that anyone can look up if they know what they're doing. This allows it to be private, okay? Um, and you can just go ahead and set it up. Now, a lot of you guys might not want to do that uh, because, or you already have your domain name before you even came over here. You know, you may be coming from WordPress or something. You can use your own domain name that you have with another company that you purchased through Namecheap or GoDaddy or uh, HostGator. Now, this is the deal. With those, you can take them, you can move them, you can sell them, you know what I'm saying? I'm not quite sure what the deal is when it comes to buying your domain name on Shopify, but I know the other places is flat out yours and you can keep it indefinitely. So we're gonna go here to connect an existing domain. Okay, now I'm gonna right now go into my GoDaddy account, okay? This is my GoDaddy account, okay? Where I have a lot of my domain names. Now, depending on where you have your domain name, it, it could be different, okay? Name cheat, host gator, whatever, but it's pretty much the same process. You wanna go into your DNS server and change a couple of things, all right? So let's show, I'm gonna show how it's done on GoDaddy. I don't have every single um, domain name provider, so I can't show you how to do it on every one, but it's a similar process, and you can look up another place, or you can simply call your uh, domain name provider and tell them to give you that information, okay? So let's go into my account. We're gonna click on visit my account. And you see right here where it says domains. 
we're going to go to manage. Okay, on this page is a whole bunch of my domain names. And I'm just going to go in and use one of these that I really don't use. Okay. Um, I have this one called Relaxing Vapor. You know, I doubt that I'm ever going to use it. I just bought it uh, to do some vape stuff, but I'm just going to use this one. Okay. So right next to it, you're going to see this little button right here. We're going to click on that. It's going to give us like a drop down. And you're going to go right here, and it could be similar on whatever you have where you bought your domain name. You're going to click on, I'm going to click on Manage DSN. All right, now here you're going to see all, a whole bunch of technical information that probably means absolutely nothing to you, okay? But that's what we're going to do, and there's a couple of ways to do this. And I'm going to uh, show you both, all right? There's an easy way and a, a manual way, okay? So I'm gonna just going to go right here. I'm just going to copy that, okay? I'm going to copy that name, that relaxingvapor.com. And I'm going to go back over here and connect the ex existing domain. I'm just going to put that bad boy in right there. And I'm going to click Next. All right, now this is the deal there's a couple of ways that you can do this okay uh, of course if you have GoDaddy, you can connect automatically okay but a lot of you guys don't have GoDaddy, so i'm gonna do it the long way the hard way this could just click boom and it, it does it so i'm gonna do this manually okay You see a whole bunch of this here because I just clicked that. But let's go back. So you want to go right down here and click verify. See, it assumes that you know what you're doing. So I'm just going to walk you through it. All right. So you're going to see that all of this stuff is, is going crazy because I have to do a couple of things. All right. This right here is once once I go in and I did verify you're gonna see that it's saying that all this stuff is 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 crazy so we're gonna have to change our a record and our C name to both of these right here okay so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna copy this because this is our IP address all right so we're gonna go over here and we're going to see how this, this A right here. And you know you're in the right one because there's a whole bunch of these here. But once you see type A and the name is just an ampersand. And you see a IP address. And you see this TTL. You know you're in the right one. Okay. So you're going to click right here. And we're going to put that other, this right here, this IP address, says this is the co correct one. And we're going to put that in. All right. Now, this, it updates and it lets you know that things have been changed every 600 seconds. You can change this, but I'm just going to leave it as is. 600 seconds is about 10 minutes. So we're going to go right here and we're going to save. All right. Now we also, if we if we go back over here, you're gonna see where it says the correct value. All right, and you this right here is for your C name, www. All right, and it says right here to copy. Now you this just says shops. Usually you want to put in your actual. URL which is testing testing one two store all right but I'm just gonna copy this hope we don't have any problems so let's go back 
And with this one, you want to do, see there's a whole bunch of C names here. You want to make sure you're on the one that says www, okay? And we're going to click right here. And www points to, just like the other one, it pointed to that IP address. You want it to point right here. Now, I'm, I'm, God, I'm really, really skeptical about this shops thing. But it says to do that. So I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to save. And pretty much there you have it. So let's go back and let's verify again. Done. Your domain is now pointing to your Shopify store. It could take up to 24 hours to propagate. Now, if we go back, we'll see that this one is set, the TTL is set to, which is, you know, pretty much that means, you know, the time before it resets any changes that have been made. This one is set to 600 seconds. And this one down here is set to one hour. So. I doubt that it's going to take 24 hours. It's probably going to take more like an hour for everything. All right. So that's it. That's how you uh, add a domain name and you are on the money and ready to go. See you in the next video.